All right, ladies, congratulations on getting another win over the Wolfpack in front of your, from your home crowd. How does it feel to be able to pull it off once again? Yeah, it's always good to win at home, I think, um, in front of a home crowd in Night Nation. So we're going to take it and run with it, and so it's a good feeling. Yeah, yeah no, it feels good. It's good to win at home. I think it's good for the fans. It's good for us. It's, it's just nice to get a win regardless of how we get it. Mm -hmm. How much did you guys miss playing here after having such a long road stretch to start the season? So much. So much. Yeah, yeah, we were on the road, what, three weeks the in first a row? Weeks, yeah. So that buildup was kind of like we've been waiting and wanting that. Um, so to finally be home is a great feeling. So, uh, Don Struble, Black and Gold Banneret. Uh, you guys struggled with errors early on, but you really tightened up your discipline later on in the match. Uh, what went into changing that mindset and just tightening things up overall? Um, I think we talked to each other and we were just like, it's okay to make errors, um, but just to tighten it up. And volleyball is a game of who can make the least amount of errors. That's how you win a game. And so we really went in and, and tried to dive into pulling it out of ourselves and just playing clean and volleyball. Yeah, I think we also focused in on like little, like key details like zones. We knew, okay, we can hit here and here. And so instead of just trying to go up and rip the ball as hard as you can, we we're focusing on okay, like we know these things are gonna work. We we saw Emily kind of coach talk about how she took more uh, more of a defensive specialist role over the over the early portion of the season, but over these past couple of games, she's really broken back into that offensive dri driver. What was it like to kind of see her back into that position again? It was good to see. Yeah. I think that's where she's comfortable, um, and so to see her kind of get that confidence back in her and. I think that instills confidence in the team, and I know we trust her with that role. And so I'm excited to see where she takes it. Yeah, no, it's just good to have her back and doing what she knows yeah. best. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys are facing a formidable opponent in Maryland tomorrow. They've won seven matches in a row. It's your last non-conference match for the next two months. Um, what's going to go into this one, and how are you going to stay successful at home? It's going to take a lot. Mm -hmm. um, they're a good team and uh, definitely a bigger team than height-wise and um, strength-wise than we've seen in this preseason. Um, and I think it's going to set the tone for how we go in the conference. So I think we're just going to have to come out with everything that we've got, some extra fire, some extra passion, some extra heat, and just give them everything. Chloe Nevada really had you going all over the court these past couple of games. You had your career high 30 yesterday, and now today you got 20, 26 already well in fifth place all time in career digs in program history. Just what was it like out there on the court from your perspective? Yeah, I think the team I could feel in this year, is they trust me to take up more space. Um, so that's what I've been doing, and yeah, the numbers are – Cool to see in the career high. It's cool to see, but you know, just putting up balls, giving people like Britt an opportunity to score. So it's it's not just me. It's it's a team thing. They they trust me, and the blocks putting up good holes for me to step into and, and take those balls. Uh, Britt, you registered ten kills tonight, and you also had two uh, solo blocks. So uh, what went into that aggressive mindset, especially close to the net when you guys were battling? Yeah, I think Abby just put a lot of trust in me, and then I was able to do what I know how to do. She was giving me the ball. She was giving me good sets. Our defense was playing great and getting balls up, and so I just I felt like I could go up and rip it. Um, and then the solo blocks is something we've been working on for a long time. Um, just seeing the outsides, I think we had a little bit more difficulty with the blocking. I personally did yesterday, so it was definitely a key thing that we talked about, and then my middles trusting me to go up solo when they stayed up the middle, so... It's just all about trust. Brett, the, Brett, this team has seen several different offensive weapons sort of emerge. Ava, obviously, early in the season. Emily is getting back into there right now. Meanwhile, you you also have been in the factoring that alongside the blockers with Alexia and Sasha. So what what really makes the, the offense so dangerous with having so many players like that? Yeah, I would say it's just having so many options because anyone can go off any night. Like... Willie had, I think, 19 kills tonight, so she was great for us. Um, Lex had a great game yesterday. She had another good game today. I've had a few good games. It's really just like anyone, whenever someone's on and they're clicking with Abby and it's going, like they can be lethal and you never know who that is gonna be, so. You, you guys, you ended up you know, with those two block solos. Alexi ended up turning in four, which is something not you don't really see from UCF players. 
every, every day, I mean, uh, every day you had, you had Nevada get all of those block assists, but what's it like going up there to like on your own end up getting that block there? It's a lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's nice to have someone up with you when you're blocking, but then when it's just you, you know you did it. You know you did it all. It's also a great feeling, just ball coming off your hands onto the floor. Um, it's just a lot of fun, honestly. Two straight months of Big Twelve play coming up. Uh, what's it mean to get into the conference matchups, and uh, what's it going to take from a mental perspective to uh, take down these conference opponents? Mentally. It, you have to be mentally tough. Um, we know this coming from our last season that it's never going to stop going and going and going. Um, so I think for us, it's just going into every game with the want to win and knowing that the tools that we have within our team is what we're going to have to use and um, really absorbing that and just sticking together. For both of you, what's the biggest difference from the team that first started the road trip with the, at the beginning of the season with the season opener versus the team we're looking at right now in the first home, the first couple home matches? I think we learn something about ourselves every single game that we play. Um, mm -hmm. Every game is different, and so going into this, like the first game that we had, obviously we have new players stepping into new roles, and um, so now that we are comfortable in those roles. I think we see a different, more formed team, and because we know what the person next to we, next to us is going to do, we it's all trust, and I think we trust each other more now. Last question. Um, Britt, your thoughts on the same thing? Oh, it was, yeah, basically what you <laughs> said. I mean, yeah, we just we're playing like a t like a true team now. I think um, before we started. I mean, we're a new group, so I mean, it's hard to go into um, the season with a lot of new pieces, but we've learned how each other play and now we know how to play together, so. So what are your biggest takeaways from these two Nevada games that you want to take with you as you take on Maryland to conclude this first home weekend? Finishing. Um, Finish. you know, yeah. we, we don't want to let anybody get underneath our skin, and I think that's what we've learned from these two games, and so moving forward, it's go out there, give everything we've got, and, and just finish, especially in home territory. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, awesome. Well, best of luck tomorrow, ladies. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.